It's so lovely that we are in St. John's, Newfoundland, a place that you love, and we're meeting with Georgina Riley. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm great. Well, now, and again, I always ask everybody, do you feel like I'm stalking you when I follow you on Twitter? No, Mark and I always say how impressed we are by you. We're like, she's the best. Like, because that's why it was so funny when we announced. Like, right. We we're like, where's Stephanie? Well, I, honestly, I took a little bit of time off, yeah. and then I missed the whole thing. Yeah. And I just am so sad about that, but so happy for the both of you. And yeah. we actually are going to do a little romance story with both Mark and Georgina here at the Duke, which is where you met. Yes, we did that meet right? here on a Thursday night, Doyle night. Go figure. Yeah. Okay, now, let, let's just talk about it, because... Um, I guess I got to know you really through your work on Republic of Doyle, and I made a joke that your performance was shockingly good. But <laughs> you were a nutcase! Georgina, I was a nutcase. You were crazy. Oh, thanks, Look at waiter. That. Hey? No Best tips for you. waiter in the day. There you go, ma'am. Anything else? <laughs> Mark O'Brien. Um, and now that's a gin and tonic. Okay, so let's mm -hmm. just start with this because that's the Queen's drink. Yes. Right? And you're from I'm the from Great Eng Britain. Yes, I am from the Great Britain. Now, how did you end up here in Canada? What happened? Um, well, my grandfather's Canadian. Oh, okay. So we all had citizenship from birth. From my dad's side, my mom doesn't, and my parents are obsessed with Canada. Like I have, like we grew up in England, but I all my clothes when I was little were maple leaves, blue jays. Oh, Our house kidding. was called Blue Jays. We had a special sign made for the front gate. Isn't that funny? Obsessed, and I was really into the World Series too when that was in 1995 or whatever. With the Jays. When the Jays won. Yeah. And then when I was 16, my parents just said, "Let's just go." Decide, let's go. Right. Yeah. That's so funny because so many people have like. Uh, Charles and Diana all over their house and they're obsessed with Great Britain yeah. so it's funny to hear the other that. Around, yeah. Okay now let's get back to your performance because you were scary um, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> she was psycho let's just I mean there was power chords and it was great. What yeah. good fun. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, so talk to me about that experience, because so often we talk to the regular cast. But as a get, like, what's that like to just drop into that community, if you will, that's Doyle? And what's um, that like? It was really fun. I'd never actually gone on location before for a job. So flying here, and then I got here, and my mom's from Wales and Ireland, and it's very similar. So the first thing, I was like, oh, I'm home. This right. is what I love about St. John's. And then it was the best cast and yeah. crew ever. Just so fun. Like, one of the guys, I thought he was... I was like, are you drink? Like, he was drinking Red Bull, and he's like, the trick is for them to never see you sober. And I was like, I love this place. <laughs> what a great set. Yeah. And um, everyone was just really, really nice. And I got three days off, which was amazing. So I got to go see everything in between shooting. Oh, very good. And um, yeah, the part was crazy. I actually got cast at 12 p.m. on a Wednesday and flew out that night. Wow. Yeah. Okay, and now you're based in Toronto. Yes. Um, but I know you have a great affinity for this place. Yeah. And you've given us some great places to shop and grab a coffee yes. and all that kind of stuff. Um, but you're, you're, you're marrying into this world, if I, I can say that. Yes, I um, am. And so now where will you be? Are you going to, are you going to? We'll probably, like living wise? Yeah. Is that too personal a question? Um, <laughs> my address. <laughs> No, um, I don't need that. No, I will probably, will, um, will you be uh, I mean, we're going to be back and forth a lot. I'd sure. love to buy a home here. Yes. Um, I want one of those colorful jelly bean houses. Mm -hmm. um, so we can come here a lot. But right. I think we'll still bounce between the two just because of work. Work, sure. So I, but I'd definitely love to have a base here. Right. I like coming here. Okay, now let's talk work for you, uh, Murdoch Mysteries. Mm -hmm. That series has just been adopted, if you will, by yes. a new network. And, and is there uh, anything you can tell us about the season that we can expect in terms of the drama, the uh, intrigue, the whatnot? Um, there's so much going on. Like, a lot of things get tied together as well because we didn't know that season six yes, was necessarily right. occurring. So it's kind of nice, I think, for fans because stuff gets, like, pulled together. But I'm obviously brand new to the whole thing, so I kind of throw... I'm a bit of a thorn in um, Murdoch's side, but in a funny way. So why have you chosen to work here, as opposed to the land of the living? I don't have the patience to adopt a cheerful bedside manner. And you, doctor? There might be a little bit of love somewhere in there, but I'm not saying with who. Oh, <laughs> nice! Okay, I love that. <laughs> Leave them hanging. That's good. Okay, and now w there's two movie projects. Am I right about that? that you're, yes. Are they? Yes. What's the story with in terms of their release? And well, Stag I think already had its release back in. I saw it back in. Um, I saw it ages ago. 
back in the summertime. I saw the, f but I don't know what festivals it's gone to because okay. I think they were holding off to do things with it. Eddie still has to be released. I was gonna say I knew it has not been released. Okay, okay, yeah. So, so I might wait. I'm like waiting. I'm like, where's this movie we did it's back funny in February? When I always we see people on junkets and they're like, that has been shot ages and yeah. ages ago. And now what's on the horizon? I uh, we were interviewing Mark O'Brien. I might as well just say, and you've got this book. My book? Your, oh, my the book. The book, yeah. So you're really in planning mode. Yeah, I love planning. Is the wedding here? We'll talk about all of it in more, greater detail. It's probably gonna be in Toronto just easy, to make it easier, okay. but we'll be flying everybody Great. over. And you're gonna Definitely. be able to get it all done. Are you? Are you yeah. Now with Murdoch Mysteries, is there, is there another season? Are yeah. you guys? So we you, go back in. Uh, we don't know for sure, but we should be going back in like April or May. Oh wow! Great. Yeah. And you love it. I love it. It's really fun to do period piece. It's so yeah. different. It was hard at first with the words because you can't. Uh, yeah, well, sort of. I don't know. Right. <laughs> like you can't do that. You right. have to be like perfect. But um, it's wonderful. And wardrobe. Because you yes. tweeted the odd occasion where it's not entirely comfortable. I was sick in a corset one day, <laughs> and you can't throw up well in a corset because it's trying to stop you from moving. So, sorry, so is that just, too much? No, no, no. But that's good because when are we ever going to be in a corset? So to learn from someone like you, don't do it. No. Yeah. Wow. They're uncomfy. Okay. And they actually bulk you. The thing that's hard with a corset is. When you're on the show, you're like, oh, I don't want it that tight because I don't need to be real about it. But if you don't do it tight, it makes you look bigger than you are. But when they do it really tight, it oh. pulls you in so much that you right. can't, you got to drink a lot of water and... Bless those women, eh? Yeah. And thank God for stretch denim now. Yeah. Am I right? And Spanx. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Georgina Riley, I'm so happy to finally meet you. Yeah, I'm so I happy to meet like you. I feel like I know you. Yeah, I know. And I can't wait to see Emmer Duck Mysteries when it <laughs> premieres and to see all of the wonderful things in your future and hopefully see you on the streets of St. John's at yeah. some point. Maybe I'll even get to Toronto, who knows. Come. Yes, well, I used to live there and it's lots of fun, but I, I love living on the East Coast. Yeah, East Coast is amazing. There you have it. Well, thank yeah. you. Thank you very much.